Good morning, everyone. How are you? This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Have you ever been so happy you just want to dance? Well, that's what I was doing with my song. So let's say good morning to Addie, Alfred, Allie, Autumn, Bennett, and Bo, Emma, uh, Emmy, Everly, Evie, Gwen, Harper, Hattie, Henry, James, Jackson, jo uh, Jonah, uh, Jordy, Kinsley, Kendall, Lacey, Laurel, uh, Lacey, Laurel, Layla, Levi, Lily, Lucas, and Luke. <sighs> Lots of L's. Um, Maddie, Maddie, and Macy, and Melissa, Noah, Nora, Raylan, Reagan, Remy, Sadie, Sophia, and Zoe. Good morning to you all. All right. We are going to give ourselves a hug because I can't reach you to give you a hug. So put your arms and squeeze. Oh, good, good hug. Now we're going to do the pledges to the flag. So everybody stand up. Put your right hand out and on your heart. Let's say the, uh, the pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now to the Christian flag. Right hand out and on your heart. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One, one Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Okay, and now it's time for the Bible's pledge. Right hand out and salute. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. All right, everybody sit down. We're going to sing our Bible song. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E Bible. Fantastic. So, let's do, hmm, maybe the months of the year. We do a lot of songs, don't we? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Whew. So, it is January, February, March, April, April, and we're in the springtime. I see a lot of things blooming, more leaves on the trees than there have been in a long time. And it is April, what, but how many days have we been? Can you see it? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, we're going to jump. Ready? Stand up. Y'all help me, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Whew. All right. Now, oh, we've done, it's April 16th, but what day of the week is it? That's right. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday, days of the week. So we had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, yesterday was Wednesday, and we did music. Today is Thursday, and we do um, art today. And tomorrow is Friday, and that's when we have our special story time. So... That looks pretty good, doesn't it? All right. We are going to, it is Thursday, April 16th, 
and we're gonna, going to do the weather now. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it rainy? Is it sunny? Is it windy out today? And I look outside, and you know what I see? I see sun. So I'm going to keep it on the sunny, but it was pretty cold yesterday and sunny, so we'll see what it's like today. Hmm. We never know, but we always know that God's in control. So we are going to do our rainbow rules, and the first one is the red rules. Everybody curl up. Ready? The red rule says to keep your body to yourself, your body to yourself, your body to yourself. The red rule says to keep your body to yourself all day long. Stand up. The orange rule says to be quick to obey, quick to obey, quick to obey. The orange rule says to be quick to obey all day long. The golden rule says, be kind to others, kind to others, kind to others. The golden rule says, be kind to others all day long. The green rule says to use your walking feet, walking feet, walking feet. The green rule says to use your walking feet all day long. Sit back down for the blue one. The blue rule says to use your inside voice, inside voice, inside voice. The blue rule says to use your inside voice all day long. Whew. Stand up. We're gonna do the purple rule. Get some big ears like elephants. Ready? The purple rule says to listen well, listen well, listen well. The purple rule says to listen well all day long. And the violet rule. The violet rule says to wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. The violet rule says to wash your hands all day long. So let's wash our hands before we start. Ready? Turn on the wall. Oh, I got to pull up my sleeves. Don't want to get my sleeves wet. Okay. So get your hands wet. Shh. Turn off the water. And let's get one pump of soap. That looks pretty good. All right. This is the way we wash our hands. Wash our hands. Wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands all day long. Scrub the palms and rub the backs. Go between the finger cracks. Scrub the palms and rub the backs. This is the way we wash them. All right, turn the water back on. Get it wet. Get all the soap off. Turn off the water and dry off those hands. Nice and dry. And hang up the towel and we are ready for the day. So, today we're doing something special. Look up there. We don't have one letter. We have two letters. So, this is the X, and the little X looks just like it, except it's smaller. Can you make an X with your body? I think I can. If I put my feet out and my arms out, does that look like an X? Pretty much. And that's the X. And the other one we're doing today is the Y. Now, the Y kind of looks like the top part of the X, but then it has a straight line coming down. And this one goes down like the X, and then it goes all the way down. So here's my body, and here's my Y, which looks, doesn't that look like a Y? Um, and I guess if I was doing the other one, I would, yeah, I can't do the other one. All right, so we are doing X and Y. The reason we're doing two today is there's not much that starts with X. X is more of the ending word or in the middle. But let's sing our phonics song. When we learn these sounds, you'll see, ready to read, then we will be. A, 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 o, p, p, ball, k, k, cat, and t, t, doll. E, e, egg, and f, f, fan, g, g, goat, and h, h, hand, I, I, inchworm, j, 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 
jam, k k kind and lamb. Hold on, gotta get coffee. All right, all right, lamb. Mm, monkey mm, noodle, ah ah octopus and p p poodle, qu quilt and rail, s s sun and t t tail. A uh, uh, umbrella v v vase. I'm nearly through. See my happy face. W w wagon k k box. Y y yarn. Say, do you see a fox? See him in the z z zoo. It was fun, and now we're through. So we are doing these two letters right here. That means tomorrow we're gonna do Z, and we'll be done. All right. So X, X, let's talk about X. Here is X. And words that start with X are like X-ray, and that's where they take a picture and they don't see your, your skin or your clothes. All they see is your bones, which is really kind of cool. And a xylophone. And you guys may have one of these. Um, they have different colors and you hit them and it makes different sounds so you can make music. Um, and then there's the exit. We've seen those exit signs before, but it's E-X-I-T. And there, you'll see them over the door to show you which way to get out. And then exercise. Oh, do you guys start off with exercise? That's a good thing to do. Everybody go up, out, up, out. Yeah, that's like exercising. So that is X. And X makes a X. So we're gonna do, look. Roxy Fox and Rox E is in the middle and Fox has it at the end because X doesn't do very good at the beginning. There's X-ray and then there's box, mixer, X, six, and exit. X-ray is the only one that has it at the beginning. Hmm. All right, let's sing about Roxy Fox. Roxy Fox, Roxy Fox. X says X. Uh, X-ray box and mixer, X six and exit. Uh, X says X, X, X. Very hard to say, isn't it? It's kind of like a K and an S together. And for your your things to do today, you can lay down your hand and use chalk to draw ar around it. Okay, so it looks like an X-ray, and then you can actually you can draw the bones. Or you can get some Q-tips and lay them down so that it'll look like bones in there and, and um, glue them down. That's one thing you can do. And another thing is you could take an X on a paper. Now, what could you make that into? Hmm. I think I'm going to make it into a butterfly. So I'm going to put... A... Okay. So you see... I made it into butterfly wings. And then you can put on the body and decorate it. It needs antennas. Or maybe you'll find something X else to put the X on. So those are some things that you can do with X. Now, there, there's no other poems I could find with X. All right, so now we're gonna do Y. Let's turn the page. It's kinda hard to do two layers at one time, but there was just not enough to do. All right, so here we have Y. And what, why do you think I made it yellow? Because yellow starts with Y. And this is a yak. Now yaks live far away. They're like big hairy cows. And they are huge. They have big horns. Um, and here's yarn. I have some yarn. I have some yellow yarn. Yo-yo. Um, I did have a yo-yo, but I think it went walked away. And also, yawn. Oh, oh. If you're so tired, you might yawn. And then, let's, hey, let's look at our animal friend. This is a yak named Yakety. So he's Yakety Yak, but don't talk back. Um, and we have yarn, yawn, yellow, yo-yo. Here is a yam, also called a sweet potato, but we call it a yam right here, and yogurt. Um, and you'll find a lot of whys, but mostly at the end of words like Addy, or Allie, or Emmy, or Everly, or Remy, <coughs> or Lacey, or Lily. Those words have Y's at the end of them. 
And Ashley has Y at the end of it. So let's sing about Yakety Yak. Ready? Um, I got the other song stuck in my head. Um, yakety Yak, Yakety Yak. Y says ye, 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 ye. Yarn and yawn and yellow. Yo, yo, yam and yogurt. Y says ye, 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 ye. Now, have you noticed that at the end of the alphabet, there's not as many words? It's like everybody started off with the A's and B's, and they got a lot of L's in there. But when closer you get to the end, there's very few. So, this is Yakety Yak. Now, what can you do with Y? Well, you can get some yarn, and you can, for our art project today, what we're going to do is you're going to put the yarn into some paint, and you're going to pull it out of the paint, and then you're going to wipe it across your paper and you're going to paint with yarn. Instead of using a brush, you're going to use yarn. And you might have another one, another piece in a different color so that you can do two colors on your painting. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? All right. And you can also look for things that are yellow and we're going to glue them down onto the paper. So we have uh, like buttons and and let me see, buttons, and ribbon, and cloth, a flower. There's a lot of things you can do with uh, to find yellow and glue them all down. And that's called a collage. When you put all these different things together, it's called a collage. So that's what you're going to do with, with your Y and with your art project. Um, snacks, you can have yogurt. You can have yams, yellow cake, mm. yeast rolls. What else could you think of? Hmm, I bet you're creative. I know Mrs. Star is. Um, so that's what you're going to do today for your letters. So we have two letters, X and Y. All right, now it's time to do our finger song. So put up your hands. I have two hands with ten fingers. I have five on each hand. First there's Thumbkin, then there's Pointer. And the tall one, middle man. These three are special. They are busy and they love to play. They play with toys and hold a pencil in just the right way. Then there's Ring Man and the Pinky. They're the sleepy little ones. They hold, hug a pillow and stay sleeping. So the busy ones can have fun. All right, so we're gonna use our busy fingers. And if you are three, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna be drawing. You are still practicing your straight lines. That is a very important thing. We have a lot of things with straight lines. So we're gonna go start up here and go straight down. You want it to be as straight as you can. You wanna start at the top at the uh, green dot and go down to the red dot and you need to learn to start and stop. Now, if you are four or more, you're gonna be doing the small, the lowercase t. So you're gonna start and you're gonna do the vertical one just like the other guys. But then you're gonna do another one and you're gonna start right here and go across to the red one. Now that is a cross or a t, but you wanna keep your lines as straight as can be. Ha, huh, it rhymes. So that's what we're going to be doing for drawing. All right, it is time for our numbers. Let's see, number 14. Ah. So this is the 10 bar. How many are on the 10 bar? That's right, 10. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. So we have one 10 bar. And then how many extras do we have? One, two, three, four. It has four corners, four, and here's the four. So we have 10 and four. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is how we write the 14. We have a 10 bar and then four more. All right, so 14. Let's, um, I guess we can flap our wings. All right, ready? Stand up and we're gonna flap our wings. We're gonna pretend like we're owls. All right, or, oh, I know. There's a bird called Z uh, Xenops, which starts with an X. So we're going to pretend we're that bird. We're going to flap our wings. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes. Oh, we got a lot of flapping, don't we? So, 14. So, when you have your mat out, you're going to look for 14 of something. Could it be 14 yellow buttons? Or could it be something else that yellow? You're going to find lots of things, I think. And if you're little, you're still going to do number four. So Harper and Remy and Maddie and Hattie, um, Lily, you're going to do four things, okay? Um, that'll be a good number for you. Now, we've done our numbers. Oh, you're going to have a find the difference thing, and it has two pictures. There's a yak, two pictures of the yak, and two pictures of the xenops, because those are things that start with X and, and Y. Hmm. Now it's time for Bible time. Now, this is one reason I miss you guys not being in class. Because if I was in class with you, we would be building the armor of God. And it would take us two weeks to do it. So, we have to do it kind of fast today. This is the Bible. It is God's holy word. And every word in it is true. So, we are going to go to one of the places that Paul wrote a letter to this place called uh, Ephesus, and it's, the book is called Ephesians. And in the sixth chapter, Paul was telling the Christians how to protect themselves. Now, he was in prison at that time, and there was guards all around him. And so he looked at the guards and said, ah, I can, I, I can show them how to protect themselves by looking at the armor of this, this, of this warrior. So he said, okay, now the first thing you need is a belt of truth. <coughs> now, it wasn't just a belt that went right here. It had pieces coming down to protect, to protect more of you. So it's protected from here to here. And on it, we, we, when, I, when we build it in school, we write things that are true on there. Like, uh, God loves us. He is always with us. Uh, he made everything. These are things that we know are true. And those things can protect us when the evil one tries to trick us into thinking that God doesn't love us. We can go back to what we know is true, like God loves us. Um, and then after the belt of truth, we are going to make the uh, uh, breastplate of righteousness. Now this is one I, uh, we made last year. And it even fits me a little bit. And I used fun foam for this. And it seems to last a little while. But this is the breastplate of righteousness. And it protects all that's underneath it. So all the way down to the belt of truth. So now we're protected from, from here to our knees. That's pretty good, isn't it? And the righteousness is when we learn what is right and do what is right, it protects us. Because we can't always do what's right, can we? But we have Christ, uh, but Jesus is always right. And so we have him as our breastplate of uh, uh, righteousness to help us. And his spirit tells us what to do is right. And so when we do the right things, it protects us. Ugh. Now, the next thing are the shoes of peace. So what you do is you take a toilet paper tube and you cut it, one end of it. And that way it can fit on your... Let me get my foot up here. Okay. It fits on your shoes like this. And it will hold on to your shoes. And you can put stickers on it, um, different things. But that will protect your feet. And it also reminds us that we are to walk in peace. We don't need to walk into something and say, hey, why'd you do that? That's not walking in peace, is it? We don't need to try to cause arguments. We need to walk in peace and be peaceable with everyone. As much as we can. We can't always, but we can do it as much as we can. So that are, those are the shoes of peace. And like I said, I would have taken two weeks to do this. And I really miss it because you guys look, look so cute when you're all decorated, uh, have your whole outfit on. All right. So after the shoes of peace is the shield of faith. And for that, we would take a piece of cardboard and put handholds, one right here for your hand and one right here. And you would slide it in and you can protect yourself with faith. Now, right now, things are crazy, aren't they? We don't get to go as many places. Um, there's no school. 
everything is topsy-turvy. Uh, but our faith tells us that God is in control and we don't need to worry. And that protects us. It prote it can, we can use that to protect any part of us, can't we? And the Romans had really big shields. So the bigger our faith is, the bigger our shield is. Um, after that is the helmet of salvation. Now that is pretty cool. What you do is you take a milk jug and you cut out around the handle on the top and you can trim it and put it on, you make sure it's washed and dry. Put it on your head and you have a helmet and you can put stickers on it. Now a helmet protects what? It protects your head and inside there is your brain and your mind. And when we have salvation, that protects our mind. Now, salvation is a long word, isn't it? What it means is that you agree with Jesus that you're a sinner. Because we all have sinned, haven't we? We all fall short of that mark. And there's no way for us to ever be perfect unless Jesus covers us. So what it is, is it's like he puts his, his cloak of invisibility around us. And all God sees is Jesus. And because he, uh, Jesus is taking care of us. And he's made us so that we won't have to sin anymore. Well, when we do that, we make Jesus king of our heart. Because if we if we, he's not king, then we're not under that cloak, are we? So, he has to be king of our heart. And when we make that choice, it lasts forever and ever. So, that's a choice that you usually make when you're like five, six, or seven. But So, don't worry about it. It will come at the right time. But when we have that salvation it protects our head so that we can know what is true because then we have the holy spirit helping us even more and the last thing oh this is the part that you guys always love is the sword and what you do is you take a toilet paper tube not toilet paper um uh paper towel or if you have like a wrapping paper it could be a long sword but you flatten it out you can step on it and then you cut it out at the top to be like a, a point. And then right here, I made a little notch on each side and put in a craft stick. And that's to, that's a, uh, the hand guard. It keeps your hand from getting onto the blade. And then you can glue this shut and put tin foil around it to make it shiny on this end. And you can decorate the hilt or paint it gold and put jewels on it. There's a lot of things you can do with this sword. You don't hit your brothers and your sisters with it, or the cat, or the dog. But the sword of the Spirit is God's Word. You remember when Jesus was in the uh, uh, wilderness being tempted? Well, the devil said, you can change this stuff, these rocks, to bread. But Jesus knew God's Word. It was hidden in his heart. He had memorized it. And so he said, the God says that you shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And he used God's word to defeat the devil. So we can do the same thing. So that our sword is when we learn to use God's word. So if you're in cubbies or sparks, you are learning how to memorize and remember God's word. And that can keep us from sin. So those are the parts of the armor of God that we need to remember every day. So let's put our hands in the air, grab a star under your chin, close your eyes, and let's begin. Dear God, thank you so much for what you've given us this day, and thank you for giving us faith and hope and love, and help us to remember that we can have, uh, that we uh, should put on the armor of God every day. So help us in all we do, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, now. Today's helper chore is you're going to go to where you do your work and you're going to clean up your mess. If you have scraps of paper, you're going to throw those away. You're going to get all your pencils and crayons into one spot. Um, boxes, I sent home a box. You could put your stuff in there. Um, and if you have, go through the, the things that you've made. Find the best that you have for this week and you can hang that up maybe on the door um, with some sticky tack. And then... Next week, you'll pick out the, the best one and hang that up instead of the other one because you don't need everything you've ever touched, okay? Uh, but you can mail some of those others to your uncles or your aunts or your grandparents or your 
cousins or whatever, but you could share your artwork with the whole world that way. Um, but you're going to clean up all your different uh, stuff so it's nice and neat. And you won't be making a mess everywhere with your schoolwork. So that is our class for today. And I'm going to say goodbye to, to everybody now. Ready? Goodbye, Zoe. Goodbye, Sophia. Goodbye, Sadie. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Remy. Goodbye, Reagan. Goodbye, Raylan. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Nora. Goodbye, Noah. Goodbye, Melissa. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Maddie. Goodbye, Macy. Goodbye, Luke. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Lucas. Goodbye, Lily. Goodbye, Levi. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Layla. Goodbye, Laurel. Goodbye, Lacey. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Daniel. Goodbye, Kendall. Goodbye, Kinsley. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Jordy. Goodbye, Jonah. Goodbye, Jackson. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, James. Goodbye, Daniel. Goodbye, Henry. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Hattie. Goodbye, Harper. Goodbye, Kevin. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Gwen. Goodbye, Evie. Goodbye, Everly. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Emmy. Goodbye, Emma. Goodbye, Bo. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Bennett. Goodbye, Autumn. Goodbye, Allie. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Alfred. Goodbye, Addie. <coughs> Goodbye, Ashley. We're glad you came today. Bye! <laughs>